This is a qigong practice for the kidneys and the corresponding element of water. Take a moment in standing, hands resting on the lower abdomen, or dan tian, centering, grounding, and breathing. We'll start with a warm-up called arm swings for health. Gently begin to turn your torso left and right, allowing your arms to organically swing. As your turn builds momentum, the arms will slap lightly against the front and back sides of your abdomen, lower back, and kidneys. As you twist, be careful not to twist too much in your knees, which can strain them. This practice is designed to offer a quick, efficient way to circulate qi and improve your blood flow. It also releases tension in the back, chest, neck, and shoulders. You can do this practice anywhere and at any time of the day. It's very good for your kidneys, but also stimulates your digestive, respiratory, nervous, and reproductive systems. Slowly begin to release, and we'll start the next form. This practice is called bear turns. Step the feet wider apart for horse stance, knees bent. Hands and arms at shoulder height, elbows 90 degrees. Inhale, then exhale and begin to turn your torso to your right. I'm mirroring you here. Inhale back to center, and exhale, turn your torso to your left. Continue inhaling to center, emphasizing the rotation of your spine, and exhale, twisting through your lower back and kidneys. Keep the palms turned toward the sky as if balancing platters on each hand. Bear forms are part of the five animal frolics. Bears correlate to winter and the water element. This form draws on the power and strength of the bear, but also uses twisting movements that stimulate and release tension from the lower back, kidneys, and adrenal glands. As determined creatures that move with heaviness, power, and a fearlessness, bears know how to conserve energy, yet they also know when and how to put their strength forward to achieve their goals. This ability to be strong and powerful, yet also able to conserve our energy, is a pretty good model for how we can also live our lives. And do one more round, turning towards your left and then coming back into center. Then begin to release, straighten the legs, and take the hands down in front of the chest and the abdomen, exhaling. Then inhale the hands back up to the sides, bending the knees. Exhale, turn to the right, but this time push both your hands down either side of your right thigh. Inhale and turn back to center, arms and hands up. Exhale, turn to the left, pushing both hands down either side of the left thigh. And this repeats. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, push both hands down towards your right. And this form is called bear pushes down with two hands, pretty much as it looks. <laughs> As you push the hands down, build strength by imagining you're pushing two beach balls down underwater. Keep going like this for a few more rounds. And there are many bear forms in Qigong and many interpretations of how to do them. I like these two as they can release tension in the back, but also help you feel more powerful and full of perseverance. These forms warm your body, build suppleness in your waist, strengthen your legs and arms, and they hydrate your muscles and joints. Mentally and emotionally, when you channel the bear, you can also tap into your will, which is zhi in Chinese. Zhi speaks to our life's true purpose. It's an instinctual life force compelling us forward to act and achieve our life's volition. Do one more round to the left. And then inhale, and begin to straighten your legs, turning your arms up. And exhale, let the hands come down through center to release. 
Step the feet closer in, bring the hands to the sides, palms turn toward the sky. Gather strength, power, and clear purpose. Zhi. Fill these into the form of your body. As your hands come down, let your right hand come above your left, palms facing each other. Slowly move your hands to the right, then turn your hands so that the right palm is below and the left above, and start to move the hands toward the left. Let your breathing here be natural and complete. Continue moving back towards the right. This is called moving clouds or hands like clouds, cloud hands. Sometimes it's done in horse stance, but since we're just doing bare forms, I figured a gentler approach might feel nice. As your hands move, turn your waist gently. Imagine the hands have soft, invisible cloud matter between them that you can move naturally and effortlessly. Keep your lower hand at the level of your abdomen and the upper hand at the level of your chest. Also let the movements be like water in a stream, supple, unbroken, and calm. This practice cultivates grace and fluidity. As you relax the hands, let them become like clouds themselves, soft, spacious, pillowy. The hands in Qigong and Chinese medicine are closely related to your heart. As they soften, they can help smooth out roughness and irregularity through your whole being. Regular practice of cloud hands is believed to help balance the fight-flight-freeze branch of your central nervous system, introducing a more easeful yet awake, energetic state in your body, mind, and spirit. We'll move directly into pushing waves from here. Step your right foot forward and exhale. Visualize pushing waves with both hands. Inhale, retract your hands and bend your back knee. Exhale, bend your front knee, imagining you push waves onto shore. Continue inhaling to retract, drawing the waves back into the ocean. Exhale, pushing the waves gently forward back onto shore. As you rock back and forth like this, use an inner strength quality related to water and your kidneys to push waves continually from the ocean to the shore and back again. And then inhale to retract, stepping the front foot in. Exhale, step the left foot forward and start to push waves to the second side. Regular practice of this form helps create ease, grace, and strength. The visualization of pushing an ocean wave is poetic and also impossible. No one can actually push a wave. Yet, when doing the practice, the movements can seem familiar, as though we've always known how to conjure the soft, subtle strength it takes to push something formless and shapeless like water. When I do this form, I often feel an effortless effort known in Taoism as Wu Wei. It's in this state that we can learn to harmonize and move the gentle ebbs and flows of life. Finish and step your left foot in. Then begin to fold forward, holding your hands around an imaginary rim of a wheel. Keep your knees comfortably bent. Inhale and begin to circle your imaginary wheel towards the right and up towards the sky. Exhale over and down to the left and then towards the earth. Continue, inhaling all the way around to the right and overhead. Exhaling all the way around to the left and into a forward fold. And this form is called turning the flying wheel. Do one more round this direction, inhaling to the right and overhead. Exhaling to the left and the fold. Then reverse, inhale toward the left and upward towards the sky. Exhale to the right and downward towards the earth. Continue. And doing this form helps purify the kidneys, urinary bladder, liver, and intestines. 
It also circulates your blood flow more efficiently, helping you eliminate waste and stagnation while filling your body with more vitality and space for the healthy, balanced flow of chi. To finish, flick your fingers three times toward the earth, releasing waste or stagnation. Then inhale and slowly begin to rise back up to standing in Wu Ji, or emptiness stance. Place your hands on your Dantian and take a few long, slow, even, fine, deep breaths. Now begin to slowly lift your arms and hands to the level of your chest. Turn the palms slightly inwards, relaxing the shape of your fingers and hands. And after a nourishing water element focused practice for the kidneys, you'll be ready to feel more energy for growth and expansion. To harness this, we'll do a few moments in Embrace Tree, also sometimes called Embracing Oneness. As you stand, Imagine you can wrap your arms around a large tree trunk, or perhaps imagine they wrap around oneness itself, a space where nothing is separate. And soften the shoulders and elbow joints. Let the elbows drop until they're slightly lower than the shoulders, but still in a rounded shape. This will keep the hands receptive. Imagine they're holding something delicate like flower petals. Take a moment here to breathe. Then to release, lower the arms slowly down and begin to draw them out to your sides, palms facing up for a final practice called hands to heart. From the two sides, begin to draw energy from the two directions towards your mid chest. Place your hands stacked one over the other on your chest while also lowering your chin. This is your energetic heart center. And the breathing here is natural, relaxed, steady and deep. We'll do another round. Arms release and then draw to the sides to gather what nourishes your heart. You know, rarely do we care for our own hearts. Through this movement, however, we can feel the gifting of our hands to our heart that cares for and supports its capacity to reign fully over the body in generous, kind ways. As the hands come to your chest, lower your chin. And we'll do one more round. The hands are considered messengers of the heart. The heart meridian runs through the hands to the arms, as do many of the heart's helpers, small intestine, triple heater, pericardium, heart protector. As the hands draw in, you might take a moment to consider what you can feed your own heart. Greater care or courage, strength, clarity, or love. From here, slide your hands down from the center of your chest back to your lower dantian, noticing how you feel. This completes this Qigong series of nourishing practices for the water element. May it help you feel steady in your body, clear in your mind, and open in your heart.